Welcome back to GIS Word Academy. In this short video, I want to tell you how you can load all the predefined settings of the layer, such as um, symbology, label, forms, attribute table, and so on, without hard coding inside the QGIS. If you are excited, let's get started. First of all, uh, maybe we can again load our layers from our plugin. So after the loading, we can see so what what are the our symbology and how we can fix the the settings of the layer. Okay, so uh, I think it was where is my plugin information? Yes. So these are our data. We have already worked a lot with this type of data. So first of all, I give the billings as just some layers. I think it's enough. Land partial, load the data. Great. So our plugin work properly. Good. Uh, yes, you can see that now the symbols are not really beautiful. So any person open it in their PC, so it will definitely looks different. And if you are, if you did a little bit coding in PyQGIS, you have already know that uh, if you want to start coding all these symbols, even this simple symbol inside the QGIS, inside your plugin, it will be really, really difficult and time consuming. You should search a lot and it is very difficult to develop it further. But QGIS make it really, really easy right now. So you have one option as a load named the style. So, but in that case, we should, first of all, generate everything inside the QGIS, export it as a QML or SLD files, and then after that, we will load it and connect it to our layer after the loading of them. Okay, anyway. So, uh, first of all, we can, first of all, we should change the setting of our layer. It is exactly the same process in the QGIS, yeah? So if you have a specific project and for the specific project, you have a different type of style. So you want to save it somewhere. So you want to do exactly the same thing. Uh, styling always is difficult. So this is these are the buildings. So maybe we can give uh, some gray to that. Uh, what happened? Okay. But we don't need this transparency and the border size is really sharp uh, yeah uh, it looks i think a little bit lighter yeah perfect so these are my buildings so these are not a land parcel just these are just samples so we are we are saying that okay these are the buildings and the land parcels but they're not really the land parcels uh okay great good to see that uh, it looks somehow good and it's enough for our tutorial and also you can if you have any point or if you have anything else so you can add all your settings labels marks diagrams fields so anything that you are seeing here it will be saved as a sld or qml file okay so if you have any specific things for your field you want to add alias for them or you have your attribute form in the attribute form you want to give a specific name to that and always when you want to load a layer maybe we can do it right now maybe also we can give a drop down just very fast thing i don't need these things just remove them create a group as a test or just i just something that you see that if you save them it will come. So I will add the FID, I will add something like this. And also I want to give why it looks like this. Now it's fine. So these are the FID. So these are OSM ID. So I want to say OSM ID. So these are the aliases. So anyway, anyhow, so we, we, we want to save it. And if you want to add anything else here, related to these things, also you can save all of them. So we are just give one alias. If it comes, the rest also will come. Then uh, we will save it in the building. So now we want to export them. It's very easy. Just we should go to, I think, export. Yes, save as a QGIS layer style. Uh, you can see that you have uh, two options. You have the SLD. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which of them, but SLD. 
uh, from my point of view, anything else like a loading, as we have already talked a lot about the libraries, I don't want to insert everything in my, for example, code, all the libraries. It is the same here. These are the files. You should have enough control on your file. I don't really want to save everything in my file because after that you want to save all these things on the somewhere on a server. So definitely you will face some problems regarding the volume and the size and these things. So definitely I will use the QML, but anyway, if you are say that, okay, this is the SLD, I want to save it. It doesn't matter, but uh, I think this one, it, it, you have more control on it after that you can open it and then you can see what you have already stored. So I want to store the symbology and uh, I think it was the forms and also if I don't make a mistake, choose the order and the sliding. I think it was the field aliases. Yeah. So I want to export symbology fields and forms for the building. And definitely I should save it somewhere where our app, app data. So here it is my app data. So I should go to the QGIS, QGIS profile default, Python plugins. And I have my layout generator here. I need uh, one new folder as a QML. Then, yeah, it's, I think it's fine. Or QML symbol, whatever you want to call it. Then I want, uh, yes. Then after that, uh, I wanted to give a name. So always I will give the same name building with the same name of the layer to get. So calling them, it will be really easier. Then it will be the same symbology field form. I think it's fine. Perfect. Then we will go to the land parcel, export it, QGIS. So definitely I need just the symbology. So I will export it. And using the same naming, it will be really helpful in the future if you want to change it. So definitely you don't have any fear that, okay, what was the name? What I was calling in my code? So exactly the same, the name of the QML always will be the same as a layer name. So land parcel, it looks good. Okay, okay, and yeah, perfect. Now, here we don't have any work again with the QGIS. Now we should switch to our codings. Where is my layout generator? Perfect. Now we can, uh, maybe we can take a look at, maybe we can take a look at now uh, the QML files. So first of all, maybe we can see what is the land parcel you can see that land parcel it is just about the symbols we have just one tag a complete tag according to the symbols not more maybe we can now take a look at a buildings yes you see there are a lot of tags and the symbols maybe we can search about it was yeah i have already searched about the id and uh, not this one, not this one. Uh, yes, 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 this one. So you see that we define one alias for it. Now alias is here. And you see that how many duplicate things right now we have without any specific things. So uh, please take care of all these things. Yes, now all of the systems, computers are really, really fast. Servers are super fast. So they are not really important to have for handling the huge files but anywhere anyhow you want to store all these files on a server or somewhere else um, the size storage and the volume of your files everything is really from my point of view it's really important and it should be make a difference between a professional or the senior gis developer and with the simple one so these things are it seems that not important but According to the performance, increasing the performance, having the higher, getting the higher performance from our systems and web GIS and web tools, our plugins. So maybe you should take a look at also these things. Anyway, just we should focus on right now our tutorial and finish it a bit soon. Okay. So we have our layout generator. It was our data loader. So here after 
first of all, we are importing and after that displaying. Exactly uh, after this one, directly we need some, for example, something about loader QML loader, something like this. Here we need a QML loader things. Okay. Definitely we should go to our core functions. Still, I don't like the name. I should think about the name. Definitely, we should have some package according to the core and put everything there, but later we will talk about it in our advanced or oh, Python course or PyQJS course. Okay. Then we need QML loader or, yeah, QML loader. And then after that, we should give the layer and we should give the path of these QML files. So, uh, Q maybe maybe QML or the layer 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 QML or the style path yeah I think it's better yes okay. yeah this one is better and after that I have my layer so I'm calling my layer and inside my layer I sh I will call load name a style load name a style and then i will give the layer style path to that exactly great then it's not finished then we should say that okay now you should refresh my layer trigger so trigger repaint some questions I think you have already remember why now these things are <clears throat> camel case, not with underline. Yes, I think you have already know it from our yes, I face that layer three view. Uh, this part of code we will say that okay, go to the layer part and update the symbols there. So we have our this function and inside this we should call refresh layer symbology. Good. And how it can be understand that which layer? So this is my i layer. So this is coming from this layer. And I will call the id function. So it means that. Uh, first of all, get this aside and after that, update the layer. And how can I find the layer from the iFace function? From the iFace, just go and call this function. After that, refresh the symbology for which layer, the layer which has this ID. Then I think it's fine. Then here we should now call our QML loader. Yes. So we should give the layer name. So it is imported layer and the path of these QML layers. So what should be the path? Definitely I will use right now the fstring function. So the first part is, okay, where is my the directory of my QGIS? So I should find the directory of the QGIS and then after that, so first of all, I should find the layout generator in different system. It will store it in different part because uh, it will store it in the app data and with different user accounts, this name will be changed. Okay, in this case, uh, I think it is on the top and I think uh, I have already explained it in the first session yes here here it will just call these functions so os path dire name dunder path file so this one it will be fine exactly the path of the layout generator so we should just we can also use this one okay so where is our qml loader i don't need 
things here. It is my QML loader. And then I should use the self to access all the variables inside my function. And after that, I should call the plugin dire. Okay. Then after that, so I am now in this file. So then go to the QML. And after that, I need this one or this one. So I need this dot QML. And after that, how can I call this layer name, which is zero? Mm, yeah, I think it's fine and it should work. So we can go to our QGIS. Maybe I can empty everything. So I will be sure that everything is and check here. It is layout generator. Refresh it. Hopefully we don't have any error. Yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, okay, then I will go to the same data. I hope that everything <laughs> works properly. Oh, we have some error. Perfect. So we can take a look at it. Uh, load name and style QJ Factory has no attribute load named a style. So maybe I can check it again once more. So here load, uh, yeah, we forgot one D load name style and trigger repaint layer tree view refresh layer symbology. I think now it should work. Okay, then we need to refresh it once more. You can see that first of all, it loads the layer with the predefined symbology and after that, it will be refresh it. Once more, we will give the path. So, building. What is the next one? Land parcel. Oh, perfect. Great. So, maybe it will be now your task to make a group. So, when I'm loading this file, everything go to the group. And after that, if you have any extra layers here like that land parcel, it should be deleted. Feel free to... Uh, write this part of the code and maybe you can comment the most important part and the YouTube channel and so on. So yes, now we have already, I think we are near to the end of this video, uh, but, because, but before finishing uh, the video, maybe I can also show you, uh, where is my mouse? Okay, it's here. And maybe we can also check the attribute forms yes you can see yes you can see that the alias name also comes because alias are restoring in the fields and attribute form also it's coming here uh, we create one thing as an id and osm also has a osm id uh yes i think everything works properly and it is exactly same as copy pasting a symbol from the one layer to another inside the QGIS. Uh, great, and um, in the next video, we will start and talk about the layout. First of all, I will explain you how we can create a layout, and you will see that how much it's really, really difficult to uh, hard code one layout. Uh, yes, and after that, uh, we can start connecting all these buttons to our PyQGIS code, uh, but first, transfer the PyQGIS code to the our plugin but it is very easy you should just create a one.py file and so on and then connecting all these options yeah it's enough for today again thanks the first and the most important thing for me thanks for your time and all your attention and if you have any questions regarding the QGIS all of the tutorials this tutorial just comment it in the comment section below and if you want to support us, recommend the GIS4 channel to your friend. So, see you all in the next video. Bye.